Hello Aquarius, this is you versus them for the 29th through the 4th, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see if you guys are new, welcome to the channel, please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. What's going on for my Aquarius currently? A lot of you are feeling bogged down and tired. Um, maybe a Sagittarius energy that is significant to you guys, but um, there's something there's something that you are tired of and kind of feeling like um, you don't have any more energy to um, contribute to this situation. Okay, feeling like there's there's nothing that can be done that will make it better. Want to go on, but feeling like um, maybe not. Okay, let's see what's going on for them currently. Ten of Pentacles. Um, somebody's working over here. I feel like um, this person wants either they're in a committed relationship or that's what they are in search of here. Virgo energy. Okay. Somebody may have just gotten married. Um, does not have to be. But there is definitely something that they feel like um, is going to make their life better here with this Ten of Pentacles. They're doing things um, whether it's working whether it's dating, um, it's something that they feel like is going to bring them um, spending a lot of time with someone or something, okay? Investing here. Let's see what's keeping you guys from them. What's interfering here? Hmm. A lot of you are still very hurt. Still very hurt here. Whether it's over this person or someone else. But there, there's a lot of hurt that you guys are, are still experiencing. Let's see what's keeping them from you. I think they're very they're uncertain whether or not you guys can give them um, a committed relationship. Give them what they need. If you have the time to dedicate here. I feel like this person is guarded as well. They're just not sure about, you know, where you guys stand right now is what I'm getting, okay? Libra Virgo energy here. Let's see what the influence is for you guys. Five of Cups. Huh. I feel like a lot of you guys feel like this. there's been a missed opportunity here with this person. Hmm. That maybe, you know, you weren't really sure about, you know, being with this person in a committed relationship before. And um, that's what they want. And, and that's not, I mean, there's no wavering for them. And um, maybe they have decided to get involved with someone else. And, and you're feeling like, okay, this is over with. This is over with. There's no going back. Feeling like this is a missed opportunity. Hmm. Let's see what their influence is here. Or either they feel like this is a missed opportunity with you guys. The King of Cups is here. Huh. Honestly, what I'm getting from this person is that you know they're guarded right now and it's like they're trying to sh they're trying to choose what they feel in their heart over a committed relationship like in their heart i feel like that's where you guys are scorpio energy here but i don't feel like this person thinks that you guys can give them the commitment that they're seeking. And so it's like if somebody is willing to commit to them, even though they don't feel half as strong, strongly for this person as they do for you, they will take the commitment over the, the love here. They would like both, but I feel like right now they are weighing their options. Okay? Because I feel like they have this undeniable love with you guys. But you guys have not come together and you're not coming together amicably here. Okay? <clears throat> Let's see what's blocking you. I think you're still thinking about all the issues that you guys had in the past. All the arguments. Excuse me. 
um, and I think you're kind of stuck there. And I think you're having a hard time kind of getting over everything that transpired between the two of you. We have um, fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hmm. I don't think you're interested in making an offer to this person either. Because I think, you know, whatever whatever happened between the two of you, um, you're still right there. It's like you have a hard time getting over it. Whatever disappointment this, this situation um, brought to you, okay? Let's see what was blocking them. The Eight of Swords. Hmm. Their ego, I feel like, is blocking them a lot. I feel like this person wants things their way all the time. They want it how they want it, and they want it when they want it, okay? Maybe this person hasn't given enough time to the situation to see where it can go. It's like they want to jump right into a relationship. A committed relationship um, and you just kind of want you probably want to see where things would go and not just like lock it in but they're in their own mental prison right now because they are so focused on getting a commitment that I don't even really think that they see how much love you guys have um, between the two of you hmm yeah. Okay, let's see what the advice is for you guys. What's the advice for Aquarius? Aquarius, my friends, I would suggest you guys not focusing on, on things that happened before between the two of you because this water under the bridge is gone. It's done, okay? Um, try to move past the disappointment and the hurt. Um, come into the present. Because if you stay stuck in the past, the more you're going to hurt, okay? And I feel like um, with this Five of Cups energy, feeling like, you know, very regretful, maybe it's a missed opportunity, maybe this will, will not happen. I think um, if you guys let go of some of that hurt and kind of reconcile, you know, your feelings within yourself, why you feel the way that you feel and if you feel like you've done everything that you can do in this situation it's time to move on it's time to start going out it's, it's time to start having fun okay that's the advice not to forget about your hurt okay but forgive and move on so that you can receive the things that um, you deserve in your life as well okay let's see what the advice is for them the will of fortune. Hmm. I think the advice of this person is to to do what they feel is right. Um, because to make a decision here and do what they feel is right for them and for you as well. And that that does not entail like getting back together. That entails you know handling something in the right way because however the situation is handled and I feel like it's on this person however this situation is handled is how it's going to come back to them so this is reaping what you sow okay this is like you know making a decision that is just making a decision with integrity here Making a decision for the right reason. Okay? And I feel like this is them letting down their ego. Checking their ego. Not jumping the gun. Because whatever they put into this is what they're going to get out of it. So, cross watchers, if that's you, just be mindful of your actions um, and why you are doing it. Okay, so let's see what my Aquarius will do. What will Aquarius do? I think you will definitely move on. I think you will do what you feel is right for you. 
in this sense. Um, I think you will be successful in doing that. But I think you guys are going to move on by yourself here. Definitely. You're not going to forget what happened before. But I think you're going to leave it behind. I think it will be tucked in a backpack, okay? That way, whatever happened here, you will not allow it to happen again. Okay? And let's see. My phone was ringing. Sorry, guys. Let's see what they will do here. What will they do? Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Hold on to their heart. Still stay guarded. Um, but, I, but what I'm getting here is that... What this person is going to bring in for themselves is going to be um, a, not a lack of love, but a lack of love. Um, holding on to their heart, staying wrapped up in themselves um, because they, what they're doing is holding themselves back. And so I feel like they're holding themselves back from a love that could have developed between the two of you, a very committed relationship. If it's money that they're seeking, money is probably going to be, you know, what they end up with. And it probably will not be a person. If it's the person that they see, that they want, that they want to invest in, then it's probably going to be the person. It's going to be the love. But what I see here with this Four of Pentacles is this person um, really investing in themselves. Self-interest. Nobody else is concerned. Is of concern to them, okay? So, <clears throat> let's bridge the gap between the two of you guys here. Let's see what's going on. Six of Swords. I think both of you probably will end up moving on away from each other. In the time being, for the time being here, between the um, 29th and the 4th. Let's see what's going. What else we have here? Hmm. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords again on their side. I think you guys will get your balance. I think you kind of go back and forth, though, between worrying and moving on. Because there are a lot of regrets here, okay? And this person is going to stay trapped. They're going to stay trapped, but it's it's a trapping of their own doing, okay? So we have Virgo, <laughs> Libra, Aquarius, um, any fixed sign, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio energy here, maybe Capricorn, but um, so that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.